Hey everyone, this is Helena and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video was originally published on the Hero Arts YouTube channel uh, several weeks ago and I'm just reposting it to my personal YouTube channel now. Thanks for stopping by. Hi everyone, this is Helena Krauss and welcome to another Hero Arts card video. In this video, I'm uh, combining few products to make this uh, fun butterfly card. So let's get started. I'll be using the Art Deco Arches stencil that you can see here along with the color layering monarch butterfly and the message strips stamp and cut Excel stamp set. So I have already pre-cut piece of A2 um, deluxe smooth white cardstock and I'm securing it on the back of the stencil. I am centering it so I have that pattern nice and centered onto the panel. So once I've secured that one, I'll be using the Peony ink pad to add some color. Peony ink pad is one of the six new colors that were introduced last week along with spicy mustard, mist, amethyst, antique I ivory and espresso. So let's do our stenciling now. So I'm using one of the large uh, ink blending brushes and I'm applying lightly color all over the stencil. So once I've added the color, I am leaving the stencil in place. I'm using the glitter hero paste to apply on top. So this will give us a colored glitter, peony colored glitter paste. So I'm making sure that it's nice and smooth and it's evened out. I'm putting the rest in, back into the jar and removing the stencil. I will set that aside and clean the stencil right away so the glitter paste doesn't dry off. And while that's dry, while my background is dry, I'm stamping the color layering butterfly. I'm starting with the most solid layer and stamping once with the peony ink. Once I'm stamping twice, uh, two butterflies, I'll save the second one for future project. I'm drying it in the meantime so we have that uh, ink nice and dry because we're going to stamp again on top with the second layer. And I'll be using again the same peony ink, but this time to get darker color, I will stamp twice. So you can see the difference when it's stamped. You can see the contrast uh, from the first layer and that second layer from the butterfly. I'm going to turn off, uh, turn it around, not turn it off on the other side and repeat the same process. Okay, now we have the two layers stamped. I am again using my heat tool at the lower setting to dry the ink. So this one also allows us to uh, the ink to dry nice and crisp without bleeding into each layer. Next for the third layer, I'm using, uh, I position it into my Misty. Before I go on to stamping, I'm making sure that it's nice and dry. I just applied some uh, clear embossing powder and made sure that it does not stick to the image. So I will use the intensified black ink to stamp that third layer, which is the most detailed layer and gives the shape of the final shape of the butterfly. So you can see here we have that uh, butterfly looking nice and crisp black. So I'm stamping a couple times to make sure that I have a uh, nice and intense uh, very saturated black ink. I'll turn it around and stamp that second butterfly. Because I'm stamping a few times that ink uh, stays wet a little bit longer and allows me to emboss it. So I'm adding some uh, clear ultra fine embossing powder on top shaking off the excess and now I will just heat set it or melt the embossing powder using my heat tool. Okay, we have both butterflies, we just need one, so I cut that uh, in half the piece of paper and I will die cut one of the butterflies using the coordinating frame cuts. I'm securing it with some repositionable tape and I'm using my Hero Arts compact cutter to die cut that butterfly. Also, I'm taking uh, two pieces of cardstock to cut another two butterflies that are not stamped to use for layering and to add a little bit more dimension and sturdiness to that one butterfly. Okay. 
I am using my Hero Arts Precision Glue to layer those uh, die cuts. And I'm adding more liquid adhesive. It kind of gives me more wiggle room to position that uh, perfectly. And we have that butterfly, butterfly ready. Now I'm using my heat tool on the lower setting to make sure that our background is nice and dry. It was dry, but still I could feel some moisture and I wanted to speed up the process of making this card. So I just used my heat tool on the lower setting to uh, finish drying that background. I'm trimming it down to four by five and a quarter. So I'm just um, cutting about one sixteen, one eighth of an inch of each side. And I'm adding again liquid adhesive on the back of the butterfly and I'm adding it to the background. So next I will be using the message strips, stamps and cut Excel. And I've already, um, for different project, I've stamped a bunch of the sentiments on peach black cardstock and embossed in white. So I'm just using the dies to uh, die cut two of those sentiments that say thank you and so much. So I'm using the same die. I'm just trimming around that sentiment uh, strip and running it through my compact cutter. So I have the thank you and I will die cut now so much. Again, cutting around so I can save the rest of the sentiments. I can put back in my storage, pou storage pouch with the stamp set and save them for a different project. Next, instead of foam tape, I'm adding strips, like I'm stacking strips of cardstock that uh, I had pre-cut. They're about quarter inch wide and I'm just stacking two on each of the sentiment strips to add sturdiness and dimension the same way we did for the butterfly. Okay, next we'll add those, uh, adhere them to our background. And I'm using a T-ruler to make sure that that's nice and straight. And you can eyeball it too. Okay, so we have our panel ready. So now we just need to start assembling our card. Instead of craft foam or foam tape, I'm using a stack of three pieces of heavyweight cardstock. Also, it will add a little bit sturdiness to our background that was stenciled and we had applied the glitter hero paste. And I will add it on a top folding dove white uh, note card now. But in any case, you can use foam tape or you can use craft foam, whatever you have in your stash. And to finish off the card, I'm just adding a few drops of the Hero uh, Pearls in Pewter. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. And if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel and you're interested in my videos, please click on the subscribe now button and also click on the bell button to be notified for any future videos. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.